there are times when people are interested in how spirituality fits within their life, how to integrate it with their daily activities or with certain aspects of their life, or they're curious about exploring what they really believe about life, whether that's uh, whether they sense meaning in life or beliefs about God, or they're wondering how spiritual uh, practices really fit together for them, how uh, to flow better with a, a rhythm of spiritual practice. When people are curious about these things, one of the things that they have as an option is something called spiritual direction. Spiritual direction is a process of working individually with a spiritual director. Now, I don't really like the term spiritual director. It sounds like, you know, a director, it's somebody in charge. They're going to tell you what to do and when to do it. But that's not how spiritual direction works at all. Spiritual direction is a process whereby the director reflectively listens to what you're saying, asks you questions to help you explore more deeply. The director may offer suggestions or like books to read or things you can try and really is looking in an evaluative way, in a way that's discerning to help you find the direction that's right for your spiritual life. And that's the key here. It's about helping you find your spiritual direction. Spiritual direction has been around in every great religious tradition. It's been called different things in different eras. Uh, but what's important isn't the term. What's important is that for millennia, people have found it helpful to work and talk with someone about their spirituality and about what spirituality means in their day-to-day -day life. Uh, some spiritual directors work from a certain kind of model or paradigm. If they do, they're going to tell you that up front. So for instance, there are Christian spiritual directors who tend to follow uh, a book called The Spiritual Exercises of Ignatius Loyola. Ignatius was the founder of the Jesuits, and he wrote a book of a series of exercises to help people grow spiritually. Uh, for people who are interested in Jewish mystical traditions, the Kabbalah has a very set way of teaching how to enter mysticism. While those come directly out of uh, religious traditions, there are people who aren't tied to a religious tradition that may have a model. For instance, there are spiritual directors who work with dreams, and what they'll primarily do with you is want to do analysis around your dreams to see what information you can get about your dreams in your spiritual life. But the majority of spiritual directors really just work with you where you are, they meet you where you are, and really reflectively listen and try to help you move further along your journey. I've had the privilege and honor of working with quite a few people over the years as a spiritual director. Many of those people have been religious leaders, clergy, church folks, but many have also been spiritual but not religious. Uh, in particular, there are people who have been through traumatic events in life, uh, in recovery from addiction, or getting past other things that have really held them back, who have felt comfortable working with me. And that may be because I'm, I also have a, a doctorate in counseling psychology. Uh, so there's an awareness that I have uh, sort of an understanding of, of difficult things in life. Uh, but spiritual direction isn't about therapy. It's not religious counseling. It's not to try to fix a problem. It's really oriented to be a reflective, almost contemplative kind of practice oriented to help you grow and to empower your spiritual life. So perhaps at some point you may be interested in seeking out a spiritual director. There are probably spiritual directors who live somewhere near you that you could meet with individually. But there are lots of spiritual directors who are like me, who work on Skype and uh, Zoom and other platforms like that, uh, and have worked with people from around the world. Uh, so there's always some way of connecting with a spiritual director. Thanks for your time today. Be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and leave me some comments so that I can respond to them. <music>